Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Tim McBadge, a portrait and fashion photographer and also a filmmaker based in London, UK. So today guys, I have um, just a few tips to share with you guys. There are some little things which are like inexpensive or basic stuff that we use for videography that are quite important, but most people do not like pay attention to. It's just like, you know, just very, very like, cheap stuff. So I'm going to start off with just like, I'm just going to mention about three different stuff um, that I think actually makes sense for you to actually have in your camera bag so you just they always come in handy <laughs> so I'm um, going to start off with a color checker passport or a gray card so first thing first I'm going to start off with this color checker passport video this one right here so this is quite important because it makes the job easier for any videographer out there I could just decide to bring up this card and place it right up to my face so let me do this again i'm just gonna place it right here so close to my face right here so if i have gotten that then the job is done i just tend to like go down to my final cut because i use final cut and i use um color Fenel pro then i'm gonna put this on color Fenel pro then i'm gonna click on the color checker passport going to draw a scale around the color board then after i've done this the system automatically select the white balance but mind you guys if you shoot in log you're meant to actually convert your videos to rec 709 first off before you do this so in this instance that means anytime you have a white balance that is off on your camera when filming you could easily correct it because obviously when you're trying to color grade your videos you need to first off change your white balance to like the correct white balance that is actually filmed you know the white balance that you know that is correct so this particular just it's a small device can help you out with that it's just gonna like set your white balance for you and at the same time these three bars right here can actually adjust the fixture exposure for you because you can see it moves from white to gray and to black so you could use that in checking your exposure but many at times i don't use that so if you know you're on your camera also and before you set this one you could decide to just use they decide to place a, a gray card here and like a camera focus stuff but the gray card also works in which you can set a custom a custom white balance from your camera using this gray card right here so i use this color checker passport video for yeah any video i tend to like shoot and sometimes i even actually use the same video color checker passport video for photography but that's going to be the gray the gray card bit in which i just use to set the actual white balance on my camera the nd filter which is a neutral density filter and um, what this does is i think i've done a video about an ND filter but I just need to mention this right here is what this does is basically just a sunglasses for your lens because I'm even currently using an ND filter right here in the room but on normal day you're going to just use it outdoor but I just like the convenience in which I don't need to start fiddling with my camera right changing my um, aperture or changing my high so since I already know I have an ND filter so like as I was saying it's just a sunglass for your lens so right now this is how the video is going to look like with using the same um, exposure using the same iso white balance and iso aperture and shutter speed right now this is how the video is actually meant to look like using this light and all of that but can you see what the nd filter is going to do right now if i just place this nd filter on can you see what's actually happening to the video right here yeah Aside just reducing the exposure like sunglasses for your lens like darkening it down it also aids you in situation whereby maybe if you're outdoor and you want to shoot with like a very wide open aperture like let's say like um aperture of 1.8 and you know when you do that when you're outdoor and you want to show your aperture of 1.8 so you can have that shallow depth of field that means you need to kill your high so you need to bring down your you need to increase your shutter speed and when you do that you start having like the video doesn't look natural anymore so you use an ND filter in that situation to darken down the whole environment then you still have you can still end up shooting your very wide up wide open aperture which is like aperture 1.8 there's something in which is called the promised filter the promised filter is very very interesting because it actually softens the image it makes your image look 
less digital because there's this thing about sony cameras they're quite sharp i'm currently shooting with the sony a6400 right now but it's not like my go-to camera it's just the camera i use for vlogging and any stuff i just need to do so but i often use a lumix system but i place this up on my sony camera just to make my skin look softer make the video look softer and at the same time it adds like a boom to lights it makes your lights boom like you can see the backlight right there you can see how it's like booming so guys you can actually see how the video looks like normally without using the um, promise filter so i'm currently using a promise filter of one over four and they are different they come in different levels so you guys can see how the light just looks more like you can actually see it's a light it's not booming right there it's not that softness is not really light so let me put the promised filter back on and you guys will see how it looks like again so guys you can look right now you can see how the light is actually like creating like a softness a halo around the light yeah i think that's that's the word i'm looking for a halo a boom around the light and also my skin is actually looking way softer compared to like when the premise filter is in on so it makes your image look softer and makes it look let me use the word cinematic <laughs> it makes your video looks much more cinematic and that is the last thing i have in my camera bag that i know i always go with to every shoot with if i need to make videos i hope you guys enjoyed this video and you've been able to learn something so if you have kindly like comment share and don't forget to subscribe on this channel and you know give me a thumbs up a big fat thumbs up <laughs> and i will see you in the next video guys